Welcome back guys. This time we'll be looking at one of the 62mm TEC water blocks that I made. Now this was also milled from a 10mm block of copper, also using a 3mm end mill. Now you'll have noticed one of the most defining features of this block is the water channel design. Now not only does the water flow down the channels, obviously, but I have cut these little half circles into it. Now the reason for the half circles is that if they weren't there, there would be less surface area than if they were there because the surface area is greater for the circle than not. So I've increased the surface area. And also it's very important from a turbulence point of view. As the water runs along the channels, it will run past one of these little cutouts. Now the water will go into like a little whirlpool which will help to cool more effectively. It's not only down the channels, it's also cut slightly lower into the bottom so that the same effect happens when the water's running along the bottom of the block. Another very effective design feature of this block was hot and cold plate bolt insulators. Now one of the problems people will face is that the bolts applying the hot and the cold plates together are obviously made out of steel. You can try and do it with the acrylic ones, but it didn't work for me. Now because these bolts are made out of steel, they will conduct heat between the hot and the cold plates, and that is a reduction in efficiency. So what I've done is I have put a plastic washer with the sheath, on the cold plate, so the, although you can't see it, when the bolts are applied, they're not actually pushing against the cold plate or touching the cold plate in any way. They're actually pushing against the plastic washer and then the washer is pushing the copper to the bottom of the TEC. So therefore is insulating it. One of the other things I really liked about this water block is I managed to use the acrylic bolts. Uh, it was very close to the limit of how much stress they could take, so there's quite a few of them that I broke and had to toss away, but it looked really nice. Uh, this has my three barb system, so there's cold in the middle and hot out the corners. The reason for this is I could have gone for a two barb system, if you like, deleting the center one, but that would mean that one side of the TEC slash block would be receiving the coolest, freshest water, and the other end would be having the hottest water. And that would result in a temperature gradient across the block. Now, having a temperature gradient across the TEC is a particularly bad thing. You need to cool that TEC equally well. If you don't, then you may be getting only 80% of the cooling potential on the hot side of the TEC. So this was one way that I did it. Cold in the middle, hot out the sides, it's equally cooled. Now, a lot of water blocks would have a chamber, so you actually had to barbs even though they had the water coming in the center and out the edges. The reason why I didn't do that is because this block is already really huge. Even more layers would have made uh, it very massive and uh, obviously affect the cost. So I hope you like this one boys and uh, we will see you on the next episode. See ya. Bye.